All right, today we're going to clone my operating system using the Western Digital software, which is made by Acronis. Uh, it's called True Image. So first of all, you want to plug your data stick into the machine. Once you've plugged it in, your computer will automatically be sent to said website, so westerndigital.com, uh, to their Black Drive site. It then allows you to download and obtain the Acronis software, so you can go to data transfer software here, and then just click the download data software. It also gives you a lovely instruction manual on how to do it. Once you have your software, go ahead and connect your drive. So I'm going to plug it in. I'm just going to plug in both connectors just for the sake of it. As you can see, it's connected, the light's on there. Let's go ahead and launch the software. So, True Image 2013, launch that. As you can see, it opens up the Acronis True Image Western Digital Edition. <laughs> From here you can do all sorts of tasks, but we're going to focus on the cloning of disk today. And then come up to Clone Disk. Now then launch the wizard. Let's do an automatic. Click Next. As you can see, Disk 1, it's going to... I want Disk 2, which is... Samsung 840 Pro SSD, we're going to clone this and then copy all the information from this to the hybrid SSD hard drive. Let's go ahead and do this. So, next. True image will load. As you can see, it then gives you information on the drive you wish to copy it to. So, not initialize. Let's go ahead and initialize that. So we want to go ahead and, so source disk is disk 2, which is the 840 SSD, to disk 3, which is the hybrid drive here. Let me go ahead and do this, so proceed. Okay, so it will now calculate and transfer all the information from my current disk to the SSD. It's going to say that it will need to be restarted. Let's go ahead and do that. System's now restarting. It then begins to copy partitions first of all, and then the data across. Clever stuff. So it's going from SSD to SSD, but SSD through USB. I could have plugged this in internally. That kind of probably would have made sense to, to do that. When I run the benchmarks on them later on in the second video, I'm going to obviously internally connect them in, so that rather than USB boot them. And uh, we should find some interesting results. Come back when it's finished. Okay, we're almost halfway now. Okay, so after it finished cloning, as you see it shut the machine down, um, it's powered down. I'm going to go ahead and internally connect this now. To disconnect my SSD drive that's currently in there. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my primary SSD and the secondary to do tests and obviously benchmark the speed. And then we'll go back to this full SSD to test the speed of that. So there's the 840 SSD Samsung. So that's the drive that this has been cloned from. Um, so it's a clone of the SSD drive. There they are together. So that's, that's four, 500 gig. This is a terabyte with 120 SSD. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Now just forgive me, I'm not going to mount it in its case like probably I should do. Um, they, they earth themselves anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and put this uh, in the case loose like this. As you can see I've connected that up there. It's, it's inside here, just loose for now. Like that, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and boot this back up now. And we'll see what happens. To remove the little card from it as well. Okay, so booting up directly from that hybrid drive. Unbelievable. It's quick. That is unbelievable. Holy smokes. <laughs> now that is unreal. So how, and then we, there you can see, so we've got the SSD here, turn it back on again, 
This is a direct clone of my system, so nothing's changed. So we're booting up the machine again now. Uh, it's booting from that hybrid SSD and hard drive. Booting up. Absolutely fantastic. I can't believe that. That is that is seriously quick. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. I wanted to show you guys how quickly it would copy internally from SSD to SSD rather than USB. So as you can see, it's not clicked to USB this time. And um, we just got started now. It's been about a minute so far. And as you can see there, it says we've got about two minutes remaining. So five minutes total to clone the drive through the internal SATA port. Okay, you might notice that um, now we've uh, cloned the drive and we're actually booted directly from the SSD. We're coming from the hard drive and SSD combined here. As you can see, it's plugged in here. No other SSDs. The boot drive that was coming from is here. Okay, um, we need to then install the Western Digital Bike Edition um, partition tool. So you go to the website by plugging the data stick in, it takes you to the software, download it, and run it as administrator. Then we can enable the other terabyte storage capacity. It's two drives in one. So you want to install this, and we're going to accept the agreement and go through that to make it usable, that's the idea. Install. Quicker than a slur. That coffee though, even though it's a PG tip. Okay, you may notice that I had a, a pop-up then saying, uh, would you like to use Dropbox for this? That's because it is now mounted our other drive. So there we go, we've got a terabyte now on here, so we could then go ahead and, I don't know, let's store the AS SSD benchmark on there. And as you can see, if I go into that, so open, there you go, we can store things on that, use that for your Steam library, your Origin library, um, movies, pictures, whatever you want. You can um, store your documents there, you can have your documents, properties, and then your location button at the top. You can change that to from C to D, and obviously have your documents stored there, or whatever. So that's a brief overview of the, the installation of the drive. It's up, it's running, it's working fine. Um, video three will be um, benchmarking with AS SSD for this, um, drive and for the hard drive separately and then uh, that versus the original boot drive which is the 500 gig Samsung SSD. Just keep tuned and see you next time.